Hello and welcome to another MessageBird developer tutorial. Today we'll show you how to send SMS with MessageBird's SMS API using Node.js. Let's get started. First, let's open a new directory and type npm init to get started. Next, let's type npm install MessageBird to download the MessageBird SDK. Now, let's create a new file called sendsms.js. In this file, we'll include the MessageBird SDK by using require. The SDK expects a single argument, your API key. For testing, you can hard code your API key, but for production applications, we recommend storing the key in a configuration file or environment variable instead. Now, to send a message, call messagebirds.create on the SDK object and pass a JavaScript hash as the first argument with the following required attributes. The originator is the sender for the message, that is, from where the recipient see the message coming. It can be a telephone number including country code or an alphanumeric string of at most 11 characters. You can use a number you bought from MessageBird here, so you can receive replies. Alphanumeric IDs support no replies. The recipients are the phone numbers that will receive the message. All numbers should be in the international format with country code. You must specify this attribute as an array, even if you have just a single recipient. The body is the content of the message. If you enter more than 160 characters here, it'll be split into multiple parts, which are each sent and billed as a separate message. The second argument to the SDK function is a callback. The API call is asynchronous and triggers the callback function once it has received a response from the MessageBird servers. The callback has two arguments. Error is only set when the API request has failed. Response is set when the request was successful. Let's write a simple callback function to log output to the console. Great, your first Node.js script is ready. Make sure you save it. Let's run the script by typing node send underscore SMS dot JS. As you can see, your API call was successful and a message has arrived on your phone. And that's it, nice work. You've just sent an SMS with MessageBird's SMS API using Node.js. That concludes our tutorial. For more guides on how to build communication solutions with our SMS voice and chat APIs, please visit the MessageBird YouTube channel and developer portal. Thanks for listening.